Now, Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval with the On Your Side forecast. Snow continues to fly in the northeast. This is the southwest side of Boston, actually Dedham, Massachusetts. WFXT with their camera on their roof. Look at that snow covered road. This looks like midwinter. You can see the, uh, the interstate back in the uh, looks like maybe 495 if I've got it right there. Uh, traffic moving quite slowly out here right now as the snow really comes down in Massachusetts. Some places in southern Rhode Island have turned from snow over to rain. This is the big nor'easter with lots of snow in central portions of Pennsylvania and New York upwards to a foot in some locations. Boy, will the weather pattern switch so we can get some of the west? Well, the new chart shows yes, but they flip flop. The charts will flip flop, but six hours ago I thought boy this is terrible nothing's coming in at all and now all of a sudden I look at next weekend we're talking this day the holiday and then beyond it actually has precipitation coming over Idaho so this chart hasn't updated yet so we'll have to see if that actually comes through going to keep an eye on that in the meantime cool tomorrow 51 uh, we get Friday night about one o'clock in the morning a cold front comes through so don't be surprised if we're out very late at night Friday night a rain shower, maybe even mixing with a couple of snowflakes as it comes to an end, even in the valley. And then a little bit of a breeze and chilly on Saturday with increasing sunshine and then colder on Sunday uh, in the morning. Then staying chilly through the week before that precipitation could move on in. I'll have a travel forecast coming up in just a moment. I want to show you a couple of graphics here first tomorrow. Lots of sunshine during the day. Up near 52 should be a pretty nice day again in the Treasure Valley. Looks like it should turn out to be nice indeed. Southern Idaho is clear while snow getting ready here for Montana where we've got winter weather advisories. It's now snowing up around Spokane. Or I should say it's raining in Spokane, but it's snowing in the higher elevations towards Mullen Pass here uh, and then uh, the higher elevations down towards Missoula as well. Getting some snow that front will come down an Arctic front. It's just got a, a good plunge of a uh, pretty cold air, but most of it will slide east of the continental divide, which is right over here. So we'll get a taste of it, but not a lot. Let's zoom on over, fly on over to the northeast. We've got a double barreled low pressure system transferring energy to the coast here, sending rain up to, to the coastal section, but this is all snow. We were just looking at a camera right here that has that heavy snow falling. Also central Pennsylvania, central New York right now, just getting pounded with snow and they will stay all snow further away from you get from this low pressure. So that moisture may turn to rain up into this region here. Here, but snow here. This is a kind of old fashioned nor'easter heading up the coast, and it's a pretty early season one. Let's take a look at our weather now. Here's 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. A chance of some snow showers coming in after that in McCall. Everything will be north of the Salmon River at that time. Yellowstone getting some snow, but sunshine in southern Idaho. Let's fast forward now to overnight. This is 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning, and a little rain shower could push on through, could mix with the snow shower and some light snow. You folks in Twin Falls in the Magic Valley, watch out. You could accumulate a coating of snow on the ground when you wake up on Saturday morning as that front goes through. You see that little period of snow there. If that actually materializes, don't be surprised if the Magic Valley has some icy roads on Saturday morning as that front comes through. It's much drier and colder after. After that as high pressure builds back in. So that's for a little while we stay dry. Now let's take a look at the snowfall accumulations and you see it's fairly light all throughout the region. But here's what I'm talking about. Just a slight chance of coating of snow in the Magic Valley and down towards Palmerell Mountain here. We could be talking about a few inches of snow out of this coming on in. So what's where's all the precipitation going to be over the next week? Well, that's the nor'easter right there. More moisture in the tropics. We head to the north and west. It's dry across southern Idaho with that little weak front coming through. But the nice news is this. This is what could be moving on in. The possibility is some good rain coming into northern California where they need it. It will help to put the fires out, but I'm telling you right now, there are going to be mudslides. Mudslides are almost inevitable in California in these burn scar areas, the places that have had the fires. So it will just add insult to injury, I know, but they need to put the fires out so the rain needs to come in. This is an El Nino weather pattern that's setting up, and that means Southern California and Central California could get a lot of rain this winter. Here's the travel forecast I promised you. Wednesday, some cloud cover with temperatures near 50, but here's the holiday. Look at this. Snow in the Central Mountains as a weak system comes through. Semi-weak. We'll have to see if this happens, but another one comes right on its heels. We fast forward to Friday, and now we've got some more significant snow that could be falling in Central Idaho. This is a, a total change for the Friday travel forecast here. Could the blues be snowy? That's a possibility of Baker County there. We go ahead to Saturday, and here's more moisture coming in. So this could be a big flip-flopping of the weather pattern. This computer chart I'm going to keep an eye on because if that happens, that's going to make some travel difficulties across the Northwest next weekend. Stay tuned. Coming up tomorrow, though, exclusive true view of tomorrow's weather today. Low 50s like today. Sunshine early. 
Clouds coming in later in the day, partly cloudy, light northwest wind, so the breeze will be light. If we can keep the sunshine, it'll feel nice, and the 50s will be in the Boise Mountains as well, but the cloud cover increasing up north. Here comes the chance for some snow coming on in with temperatures generally in the 40s in the McCall area. The McCall, uh, the East Central Mountains, temperatures primarily in the uh, 40s as well with a chance of some snow showers. Near 50, chilly the next couple of days, Don. Whew, all right, thanks, Scott. Still to come on 6 on your side.